Hi, this is Mr. Green. On this episode of Tell, I'm going to show you how to do some painting. So sit back and enjoy. So one of the first things that you need to know when you're going through and painting a room is that you need to, about 90% of paint jobs is the prep work. To be able to take things off, make sure that your floors are covered, and having the right material to be able to do the job. So, first thing is this, um, got a paint can key right here, it's probably a buck and a half, maybe two bucks at any hardware store to be able to prop open your paint can. And it's really easy just to just go ahead and stick it in there to be able to open. So my wife and I, we've painted the, put one coat of paint on our bedroom wall. We're going to go ahead and put the second coat of paint on today. And we've had about half of the can left, but it's been about 24 hours since we've done it. So I'm going to go ahead and stir it up and make sure that things are mixed up really nice before we pour it in the up track. Go ahead and cut it. One of the other tips to be able to do a paint job is to make sure that you're storing your brushes in plastic. It could be an old grocery bag. We we'll use that for some of the rollers, or just a sandwich bag. Putting your brushes in that way, the brushes stay stay wet, and you're able to go ahead and use them the next day if you're waiting for a coat of paint to dry. So we've done that. I'm going to pour some paint into the tray, and then use one of the brushes to kind of wipe up the excess paint that we have. So let it drip all the way out. That way a lot's not running down the bottom of the can. Take a brush, just go ahead and swipe it on the side right there. And you're not going to get all of it, just make sure that most of it's out of the way to lift the can. That way when you put the um, Tap the can back on, uh, it's not going to spray all over the place. <laughs> One of the first things you want to be able to do is to edge all the trim all the way around. Uh, I'm not going to lie, this is the least favorite part of painting for me, uh, being able to reach above your head all the way around the room to be able to edge all the way across. But what you want to do is get a little bit of paint on the edge of your brush right here and then come up to the top part and get your brush as close to that edge of the ceiling as possible and just to be able to cut it in just really really nice and be able to have a nice even stroke all the way across until you can see the paint running out and, and getting a little bit thinner as you go we're not really worried too much if we get some of this white paint on the ceiling because we are going to be painting the ceiling white if you're painting the ceiling a different color you can go ahead and tape it off if you'd like or if you feel very skilled and you have a steady hand, you can go ahead and cut it in without taping it off. Okay, so it took us about a half hour, maybe 45 minutes to be able to edge all the way around the tops of the ceilings and around the door frames, windows, outlets, closets, all the way around the room. As you can see, we've got an accent wall in here that we've taped off to make sure that we don't get any white paint on the blue. And now we're ready to roll. So I've poured some paint into our tray, same one that we use for the edge brushes. And we're gonna go ahead and pull out the roller that we used yesterday to put the first coat on. Like I said, good tip. It's actually the bag that uh, the rollers came in. We wrapped it up in plastic to make sure that the roller stayed wet for us to be able to go ahead and use it again today. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. And what you want to do with the roller is you want to make sure that you get a little bit of paint on it and then take it up to the front here. It's got the beveled top here to be able to get excess paint off of it. You want enough paint on your brush that it's going to go ahead and cover so you're not having to go back constantly back to your tray to be able to get it. But you also don't want too much paint on it to where it's going to be dripping on floors or um, just really thick and heavy in certain spots. So go ahead and get enough paint on there and then take it up to the beveled spots, roll it out. And now we're ready to go ahead and put it on the wall. So I'm going to go ahead and start on this side of the wall. Uh, I usually handle the high spots. My 
wife usually handles the low spots for the painting jobs that we do. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start and paint on the one side. And what you want to do is to not necessarily go completely up and down, but you want to make sure that you're going at an angle and then being able to smooth things out as you go. Again, just a nice smooth long stroke as you're going all the way up and down the wall to even the paint out and making sure it's not too thick in certain spots. And you'll be able to tell when the paint runs out or at least when you're running out of paint on the brush because it'll start being a little bit thin in spots. And when you go back to the tray, what you want to be able to do is you want to be able to find this wedge and that's kind of a constant spot for you to be able to go back and reference uh, and work your way around the room. Another tip when you're going through and doing tight spaces, most hardware stores, paint supply stores, they sell smaller rollers. The standard roller that most people think of when they're painting is the nine inch roller, but uh, they make a smaller one and it's a four inch one to be able to get into tight spots. So I've got one spot in between my closets that I'm gonna use this to be able to get through. And actually when this is done, we are done painting the bedroom. So as you can see in between the closets, it's a little bit of a tight spot. We got a light switch right there in the middle in between. And you can see one coat of paint on there. And like we've said before, went on pretty well, but you can see how it needs a second coat. So be able to use this four inch roller going right in between. Hopefully it rolls there. There it goes. Took a little bit. But same idea, just going ahead and getting just enough on there to be able to cover in between that little tight space right there. Okay, the paint has dried and now we're ready to peel off the tape. Um, another good tip when you're painting, as you can see, some of the paint, the white paint especially, has clumped up and is really thick in certain spots on this tape. So what I always like to do uh, to make sure that we have a nice clean edge and when you peel the tape, it doesn't peel extra paint off is I like to go ahead and take a putty knife and use one of the sharp corners and just go through and score the side of the tape where, the, where you want the clean edge to be. Uh, that way any paint that might be uh, dry together and might potentially peel and not, um, not finish as nice as what you'd like, at least you can go ahead and take one of these putty knives and use that straight edge to be able to go all the way up and then down to be able to cut that out. So what you do is you start in the corner and try to find that tight spot right there. And again, just a little pressure. You're not necessarily trying to cut it, but just to be able to score it, that way when you do go through to peel the tape, it will come off fairly easy.